Hey guys, what's up? My name is Christina and this is probably going to be the first video on my channel. First, do want to say ignore my hair, quarantine, haven't really done anything with it, so it's a mess right now. Um, but just wanted to film this quick intro. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to do kind of like a shelf tour. Um, as you can see, I have a good amount of shelves going on in the back. So I'm going to do a quick shelf tour, um, kind of explain my collection. Maybe in the future I'll do like a poster, room tour, something like that. Um, so yeah, I'll do the shelf tour today, and then if you guys want a binder tour, um, I have five binders for my photo cards that I currently collect. <laughs> um, it's kind of getting out of hand, but if you guys want a binder tour, I'll do that as well. So here goes the shelf tour. Alrighty, I'm just going to start back here so you guys can kind of see the overall. Ignore my messy desk, I've been working on trades and stuff, and this is not my normal office chair. It's upstairs because I'm working from home. Um, but... I guess I'll start over with this smaller shelf. So over here we have NCT and Wavy and NCT Dream, all of the above. Um, so we have like the 2018 and 127 stuff. I have the other version of Neozone, but it's in my car. <laughs> so I haven't brought it in. Um, and then Dream and then Wavy and then the little like displayable stuff in the Kinos. So that is my NCT shelf. Over here we have some things that wouldn't fit on the shelves. So I have my Hobie doll, my red velvet light stick, and my infinite like calendar box from 2012. And my Stray Kids poster wall that unfortunately got kind of covered when I was putting everything up. So there are some posters that I need to go in and like pull from behind, but I was lazy. Um, so then here we have my infinite shelf. Now infinite is my alt group, Dongu is my alt bias. So. I'm doing okay with their albums. Their Japanese albums have a long way to go, um, but Korean-wise, I have a lot of it. And this is like a Christmas card that one of my friends got me for Christmas one year. Um, so yeah, my prized possession. I also have an OT7 signed album on the way too from Makari Japan, so I'm really excited for that. And then here we have the boys, Victon and Vix, which the boys is gonna quickly grow because they're the next collection I'm really focusing on. Um, Victon is done. And I recently did that. I kind of, when I decided I wanted to collect Victon, I had some of their albums, but I decided to go all out. So I just bought everything I was missing. <laughs> and then I also bought a second copy of their fourth mini album uh, because I had originally bought it without photo cards back in the day. And I wanted to pull a photo card because I'm collecting three members. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's the Victon section. Vix is one of those that I have loved them for so long, but their collection <laughs> low key sucks. Um, so I'm slowly getting there. I I have two albums on the way that are both signed. One signed by In, I believe, and one signed by Hyuk. Um, so those are on the way, and then that's signed by Ravi back there. Uh, but those I found on Instagram for $10 each, so I was like, I can't not buy these, even though I have both of the albums already. Um, so down here, I'll start over here. We have my EXO section. Um, not much. I don't really like prioritize EXO uh, when it comes to collecting. I've loved them for so long, um, but just haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> um, I'll probably buy the other version of EXO's solo album, EXO? <laughs> Baekhyun's solo album, just because I do love it so much. Um, and then, of course, my two little shiny things there. Um, next, we have my CM Blue and One Team shelf. So, CM Blue was actually the first group that kind of got me into K-pop. Well, I saw a drama that Young Hwa was in, and I fell in love with him. And then I found CM Blue... And then through CM Blue, I found Infinite, and Infinite's what's really, like, spiraled me down into the K-pop world more than CM Blue, but they were the first, like, K-pop band or whatever I saw. And then, of course, one team from Babies. Found them on the day of their debut from watching a music show, so it was amazing. Um, this is, like, my miscellaneous shelf. So I have got seven, uh, Red Velvet, 21, 101, um, Icon, 2PM, and AB6. And so it's just kind of where they go, because <laughs> I don't really have any more of their albums. I plan on trying to get all of 2PM's albums eventually, uh, but that'll be a slow process. And then over here, we have my little BTS section. So it's not much. I have my little Mong water bottle back there. Um, just a few of my favorite albums. Or like the uh, Young Forever is my all-time favorite BTS album, and I got that for Christmas one year. Uh, so I definitely love that. And then like the... Too Cool for School album I had bought my friend for her birthday in 2015 uh, in Chicago at a K-pop shop and she no longer like collects or she listens to K-pop some but not really that much so she was cleaning out her bookshelves to move and was like hey do you want this back and I was like sure so that's how I ended up with that album <laughs> um, 
um, Pentagon. This is my newest collection. <laughs> I literally got these albums except for Demo 1 in the mail today. Um, I recently got into them. It was kind of like a Victon thing where I decided that I wanted to go all out and just kind of buy everything at once so that I had it and I was caught up. So that's what we did. So that's the current situation of this shelf. I may not keep that open. I haven't decided. I literally just put those up there like five minutes before starting this video. Um, up here we have my lay shelf. So I have the little uh, light stick from his fan event in New York that I happened to win tickets to. I also have like the banner up there and then this like ribbon there is from that concert as well. Um, so that's what that is. And little freebie in his solo albums. And then here, let me scoot over, we have my Super M shelf, um, and then the little 10 freebie that I got at the concert. I saw them in Washington, D.C., well, Fairfax, but <laughs> in D.C., and it was amazing. Like, the factor of sitting there and being like, I'm literally seeing icons right now, like, Taman is here, and I never thought I'd see Taman. At that point, I had seen Lay, so, like, EXO was still like a shock factor that I was seeing back in Kai, but <laughs> it was just insane. And I had seen NCT, I just hadn't seen Lucas um, or 10. I literally like whew, 10 man. He is my like second of all 21 members of NCT and destroyed me. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, Super M. Uh, and then there was my AT section, which I'm missing two albums, I believe. Yeah, uh, the other version of Wave. And then the other version of All to Action are the only two albums I'm missing. So I'm a little song a standee there. This is just an empty shelf <laughs> for when I decide to get more albums. Um, but yes. And then here's the like big black shelf. Uh, so we have my Monster X section. Ignore the F sticker. I suck at taking stickers off when I build shelves. It's fine. Um, so my Monster X section with the light stick. Uh, originally wasn't going to buy the light stick quite yet. I was going to focus on their albums a little bit more. Um, but I'm just, I was supposed to be seeing them June in D.C., but it has been postponed, so who knows when that will happen. But when it does, I'm ready, because I have a light stick. <laughs> um, and then over here is Oneus. So I'm missing a couple albums. Well, I'm only missing one album of Oneus, which is their first album. Uh, but it gives it plenty room to grow, kind of the way it's set up to where it's sideways, so I have room to get more albums when they come. Um, so it's not all squished on one shelf. And then here is my Seventeen section. So Mingyu is my bias and Coops is my bias wrecker. Uh, and then I have like the banners from when I saw them. I went and saw them in New York in January. Um, so originally my goal was never to get every version of every album for Seventeen. And then there was a phase where I was going to do that. And then I'm kind of back at the as long as I have at least one copy of each album, I'm content. I will eventually try to get every version, but it's not high priority. So I'm just sticking with at least having one version of each album. Um, both of the signed albums are signed by June. And then I have my little Polaroids. One is my friend Allie and I at the concert, and then Mingyu at the concert. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> some of the concerts I've seen, I've seen a lot, which I can also do story times on some of the concerts, because some of them were really fun and had unique stories with them. Um, so that'll be on this channel as well. And then here we have my Stray Kids section, which right now is kind of a mess up here, because it's just like random stuff sitting up here. Um, like this bracelet from the concert in... Georgia. So I've seen Stray Kids twice. Once in Georgia, once in New Jersey. Um, but I have the fanship box, this little like ornament my friend made me. She made me one for Dong Wu as well. But if I touch that one, it falls. <laughs> so I'll just show you Chan Chan's. And then my little Chan and the light sticks. Um, so that is my Stray Kids shelf. And then I have my VAV shelf. Um, I love them so much. They, oh, these boys. If you ever get a chance to go see them, go do it. They're amazing. They're just amazing performers. They're so sweet. I just love them. <laughs> so I saw them in, where did I see them? In Jersey the first time I saw them, and then Atlanta the second time. Uh, so I, the only person I haven't gotten to take a picture with is Yoon Ho. Uh, everybody else, I've gotten a picture. This I died. <laughs> he was my bias record. He wasn't there the first year, and I was like, I am getting a picture of Jacob. And then Vaughn, of course, is my bias I have some fun stories from the second VAV concert because my friend happened to be on crutches. Uh, so that was interesting. The first year I was VVIP. Second year I was just general admission, uh, like T4, because it was kind of at a difficult time money-wise. <laughs> um, so yes, there is my VAV section. 
with my light stick. And then uh, that bag is from like the banners. I don't remember where the banner went for that one, but that's from the Give Me More banner. And then we have my day six section. So I have all the albums. I have the new album on the way, so Demons on the way, both versions. Uh, Japanese album aren't, aren't Japanese, oh goodness, I cannot speak. Japanese albums are not priority. Uh, I'll eventually get them all, but right now it's just Korean press, so I'm done Korean press wise. Also need to buy a new light band because I broke it at the second concert I went to. Um, so that's another you know fun story time. The first time I saw them was in Atlanta, second time was in New York. Uh, so I've seen them twice. And then last but not least, we have my Astro section, which I am missing a few older albums. I have the new album on the way. It's coming with Demon and NCT's new album, so it'll take a bit to get here. Um, but then my signed All Light album and my light stick. And then I have this little thing, which was from the first year when I didn't have a light stick. <laughs> um, so I saw them the first time in D.C., which they were my very first K-pop concert ever. And then the second time I saw them was in Jersey. So, yes, I think that is everything. Um, and then if you guys want a binder tour, I was working on them earlier, so please ignore the mess. Uh, but yeah, I'll do a binder tour as well if you guys would like. But yeah, so that was my quick, like, uh, shelf tour, I guess. If you guys want a more in-depth one or kind of like my goals for each group, that type of thing, let me know. I'll do another one. I'll periodically do it as they update. Like I said, like last week, this looked completely different because I update it pretty frequently. Um, but I'll also do a binder tour. Um, I can do concert, you know, uh, Story times, I've seen Astro twice, Day 6 twice, CVAV twice, Stray Kids twice, 17 once, One is once, I will see Monster X soon, seen Super M, uh, seen Lay, I didn't get to see one team and I'm really sad about it, but it's fine. Who else have I seen? NCT, and I saw like Stray Kids at Build, NCT at Build, um, so there's some fun story times there, I also ran into Astro in an airport the first time I saw them. Totally by chance, ran into them. Nobody else was there. Got to kind of talk to them very briefly. Uh, so that's a fun story time as well. Uh, so I'll do some story times just so you guys can see kind of my experience at concerts. I've been in New York, Georgia, DC, all of that. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment with what you guys want or if you have any questions about my collection and who I collect and who I stand because there's plenty of groups that are not on the shelf that I do stand. Um, so leave your questions below. Thanks for watching. I hope this wasn't horrible. It was my first video. Uh, please don't judge me. Please don't judge my hair. It is in a mess. It's like bright purple up there. So I know <laughs> it's bad. It's being worked on. It's fine. Bye-bye.